So we're gonna take that out too. I feel so organized, you know? I should be a bartender. Balancing your checkbook like my mother always did. We demolish, we conquer, and we score. Oh. Since it's Friday, that means it's payday. It's like a lose-lose situation for me. Two other tragic things happened. Hello and welcome to today's vlog. The dogs just got all of their flea and tick and heartworm kind of like medications for the month. Of course, you gotta serve it with some peanut butter. Well, Naya and Bela will eat it as is, but then you have to serve Freya's in peanut butter, otherwise she won't eat it. And then if we only give Freya peanut butter, then the other two dogs will not allow that. So then everybody has to have peanut butter. <laughs> I did in fact have to work today. That was accurate. I worked until noon. I didn't wake up at 4.30 for no reason today, thank God. However, two other tragic things happened. So one, I didn't know I would be training someone today and I didn't know I was training them for like the open. So as I said before, usually I open by myself. Yesterday I got spooked because Lauren was in the office and I was like, uh, what are you doing here? Today, and all the, the lights were off like normal when I like pulled into the parking lot. And then when I was walking up to the door, all the lights turned on and I was like, who is inside i go inside and there's someone standing in there and i was like who the fuck are you and turns out it was um the person i was supposed to be training that was startling at five o'clock in the morning and then even more tragic i left my emotional support water bottle at work and it's more tragic because i'm not going to be at work again until tuesday today's friday so now i have to go all weekend and monday without my water but we have like plenty of other ones this isn't a huge deal but i just was really sad when i was driving home mainly because i was thirsty and i went to go reach over from a water bottle and it wasn't there and then it hit me that i left it there happy friday yay we have hot girls read merch on today are you personally more of a sweatshirt person or a hoodie person because i feel like i like sweatshirts better i don't necessarily love a hood moment but i like the pockets but i usually can't get a sweatshirt with pockets without the hood you know so it's like a lose-lose situation for me i will pull for a sweatshirt before i ever pull for a hoodie now yeah i got open this k love you i guess we have to use a new water bottle we'll go with my 40 ounce awala i think what's crazy for people when i like really explain this to them about bus life is like we only have so many of things obviously like we only have so much space for things granted i'm sure we'll pick up new things here and there but we really have to be mindful of like when we buy new things of course or we'll have to like get something new and like rehome something else kind of thing because we just don't have the space for it all we each got to bring like two water bottles one handled and one like sip style so if i left my sip style then all i have left is a handled those are my options that's all I got <laughs> and I just think that's funny and then now more than ever I keep a little straw topper on any strawed drinks because I don't want little spideys crawling in my drinks since it's Friday that means it's payday and that also means we need to do some balancing of the checkbooks kind of the the virtual checkbooks and then stuffing my cash envelope system and whatnot I know I usually make like a big video about how to do the cash envelope system and whatnot but I feel like I've never done just like a little check-in like this or how I upkeep it so now you guys get a little sneak peek these were receipts that like we keep in the center console of the car in a hurry before we like file them away so I'll have to figure out where these go basically write these in here and we're gonna go through and input the receipts that we have so far just from like the first you know few days of october first one that we have is for gas for the car on the second and in total we spent 58.59 on gas in the car and then we have like a funzy receipt which is just for like whatever we want it to be for from the 3rd of October and it was 1925. That's everything that we actually filed, but we do have a few that we just hadn't gotten to yet. It's obviously from Lynn's Fruit Farm from yesterday. It cost us $10 to go and like not pick any apples. They do have like a non-picking fee, <laughs> which is understandable, but we didn't actually get any apples because we don't have any room for them. I'm not gonna keep them here. We're not gonna eat them all. So we're fine with that. And then we also spent $11 at the market at Lynn's on like our fry pies and we got apple slushies. Cohen hit up Jimmy John's on our way to apple picking because we hadn't had lunch while I, as you guys know, got sushi instead. After going through all of my receipts, because we try to save every single receipt, of course, but every now and again, I don't know, some places always like we don't have receipts, we're out of paper or something. I'll still go through my bank statements because also we have caught a few things where I'm like, um, where's this charge from? Like that's the whole point of balancing your checkbook like my mother always did is you're just like adding up all of the expenses that you you said you did and making sure that that's accurate with your statement making sure that nobody's doing something dirty you know someone hasn't hacked into your stuff we just want to make sure which this did happen we did not get a receipt we went to texas roadhouse for a little date night the other day we didn't get a receipt from that so that is something that i would have missed because now they make you pay at like the table with a card and stuff like that and then the little thingy doesn't print a receipt which i 
really don't like. I have this little column that I like to organize all of my things by so we have little icons that stand for everything. So after I've put it into my little system, like I balance all of our like things that we've spent money on, I'm obviously then going to assign it to a category so we can start adding up our totals and keeping track on a weekly basis where we're at with each you know budget bucket i don't like to wait till just the end of the month to be like oh fuck we're under budget like i want to keep checking in on that every week to be like okay here's where we're at here's what we can still be spending if we continue down the same path kind of thing we're going to be over or we'll be under like obviously just checking in more frequently is better and that's where texas roadhouse the lens apple picking we have lens market all of those are going to be considered like shared expenses or like date nights and stuff Stuff, so it's coming out of like a different budget bucket obviously we have gas for the car we have like funzy person specific money getting spent and then the last thing that we have so far is like coffee or fast food and then with our fixed expenses we can also keep track of like the bills and stuff that we've already paid for so we've already paid for our storage unit and then we've already paid for our phone bill so just keeping track of that now we can like stuff the folders for what we got going on going into like our post first paycheck of october this is the time if you're doing the cash envelope system where you can decide if you're going to save all the money that you didn't use in certain buckets. So for example, if we allocated $100 for toiletries, last month we only spent $7 in toiletries. So that means I have, you know, 90 something dollars left over in my toiletries budget, which I can either keep in my toiletries folder. So, you know, this month I can have 190 something dollars or I can take this out and reallocate it to a different bucket if I really want that. Or everything that's left over from the previous month, you can just take out of all of these buckets and then directly just plop it into a savings account and that's how you can utilize the cash envelope system to help you like save your money instead of just like spending it because just because you have it doesn't mean you should spend it you know we're trying to stay within a budget but also only spending really what we need to spend because we have things that we want to save for or just a general savings you know usually if it's like a big amount of money i'll plop it into savings but like leftover in groceries we only have ten dollars so i'm just going to take that out and we'll you know reallocate it somewhere else now toiletries like i said we have like 90 something dollars in here and I think it's also kind of dependent on the bucket that I'm talking about because do I need $200 in toiletries no so we're gonna take that out too we have like a separate folder in here they're like different dividers if you can tell those colors we have one for kitty the dogs and then vet stuff which is different than like the monthly expenses that we spend on the animals like food and litter and stuff like that so what I like to do is anything left over in the animal section won't stay in their folders but it'll get moved to the vet section so if we ever have you know like an animal emergency we have a little bit of backup money funsy money is obviously each of our like personal money and that stuff rolls over so that stays in our individual funsy little buckets and then we have nothing left over in the food and dates if we have stuff left over and other ones at the end of the month they go to becky because we obviously have a lot of things to be doing i'm gonna put you guys pov on here so maybe you guys can like see this a little bit better one two the things you do in your room when you're all alone three four you want mom or whatever cure that was five six five when you're drunk or you're doing When you're drunk, 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 when you're drunk or you're doing Seven, eight, feeling brave but you never really play this game Nine, ten, feels like heaven, you're crying cause you wanna stay Quick fix, found in bliss when you feel the heartbeat inside 
that is essentially how we stuff on like a weekly basis. I'll first go through all the things that we, you know, have purchased. I'll double check it, make sure we're still under budget. And since this is the first paycheck of the month, like that's why I had to take everything out and basically restuff it. I'm not restuffing every week. We're just basically balancing checkbooks and making sure that all of our receipts get put in on a weekly basis. And then I double check how we're doing with the budget. My personal favorite thing to do is with my first paycheck of the month is just to cover all of our bills and stuff like that so that way like we are completely stacked and ready for the entire month that means every other paycheck the rest of the month which is every single week i get paid every week is money to go towards the bus or for just other things that we're doing adventures whatever all of our bills are already accounted for for the entire month and it's you know only a few days into october and that makes my heart happy makes me feel good and we have everything else like allocated for as far as like our monthly budget amount. Every week though, I do put $75 towards gas and then $100 towards groceries. So we do have like new things coming into the folders on a weekly basis. But as far as like bills go, that's already filled for the month. We already spent some of our fast food budget. So that is also something I do with the first paycheck. So we've already spent the $48. So I'm gonna round up to 49. So I didn't put the full 200 into fast food. I 200 minus 49, that's what's in here. And the same thing with like our shared expenses. We already spent $99 of our $200 budget. I didn't put the full 200 in here because we've already spent so we're kind of just keeping track of that and we're good to go i feel so organized you know prepared for the month ahead we do have to go have some fun tonight it is friday night which means it's volleyball night and i also need to go get my truck van because i have an event this weekend so we have to do some beep bopping around it's 4 p.m and we gotta skedaddle cohen's letting the dogs out really quick before we have to leave for a few hours but i am just staying in this i changed after work i don't know if i really match but it's at least the same like tones we got like little army green going on maroon i'll take it i'm gonna bring my little handheld tripod for you guys my water bottle my phone even though i don't have any pockets to put this in because i'm wearing a sweatshirt caramel apple spice margarita with a caramel rim. It's the caramel rim. Isn't that good? I should be a bartender. Also, Jack, have you met my fiance? This is no. Cohen. Hi, this is Cohen. Jack. Jack. Nice, nice to meet you. But Jack said he would teach me how to bartend if I teach him how to barista. Then we made this signature drink together. It's good. That is good. It's so good. So what do you drink, Cohen? I've made him into a tequila man. Yeah. But before me, what did you drink before me? I was a Jack and Coke type guy. But I, I turned him on to the finer things in life. I love fireball. You're allergic to cinnamon. I am, but I don't care. Do you trust me? Yeah. Are you putting fireball in it? Yes. Like a floater, not like a floater. I like it. I mean, it was like good before, but this is more fall. Yeah, that's what I was like. As soon as I see him pull out, I was like, yeah, put fireball. Yeah. <laughs> put fireball in it. Great. Go. We demolished, we conquered, and we scored. Oh, you gave away like six points. What? More it wasn't that much points, right? Six points? No comment. No comment. It was six points. Whatever. Six points. Whatever. <laughs> You were too cocky last time. Yeah. <laughs> you lost. 
Yeah, it's 1-1 one, one right now. We got one this third game. one. One more game. You have to pull it together. Yeah. <laughs> end of the day it's like 9 30 and i'm so ready for bed i don't know where my phone is it doesn't matter today honestly wasn't even that busy or that long i just feel like it was busy and long because i worked and i've been up since 4 30 and then had to do you know mental math and budgeting and then volleyball and then whatever i'm just ready for bed <laughs> We set up our couch every single night for the dogs. We have two like actual dog beds in the bus. One is like underneath the bed and then the other one is the one that Naya was laying in. That usually sits underneath our dinette table whenever it's up and then we just like pull it out in the hallway at night. So each dog has a designated space that they can lay. Under the bed, in the other dog bed, on the couch, which is like their giant dog bed. Or they can lay in bed with us. So there's technically like four places, three dogs, and they all just kind of flip flop. Naya will switch between under the bed and out. Freya sleeps usually on the couch like belly up. <laughs> or in bed with us and then Bela will sleep in with us and then out on the couch so I'm gonna go to bed. I have an event tomorrow so I gotta be up kind of early. I'm not looking forward to it. I really just want to like sleep in. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog even though it was like low-key uneventful. You guys already know the spiel that I'm about to say but during vlogtober or even like vlogmas or when we like daily vlog like this obviously I can't have fun and do fall activities every single day because you know life. There's gonna be a lot of these throughout the month but also there'll be some fun stuff that we get into but that's the joy of just coming along for a mundane day in my life. I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.